Well, hello, friends, and welcome to another video. We have our camera rig back, and we have Gachapon balls. These are specifically, we are opening these to put in the future astronomy tower for the Calico Critter village of scientists. But anyway, I thought it would be good if we had multiple telescopes. You need different telescopes for different things, and my squirrel astronomer needs different telescopes. So we got a set. It's supposed to be the full set, but we'll see. Anyway, uh, let's unbox them together. All right, we have Professor Townsend, the squirrel, waiting here for us, and we have gacha balls, which I probably will save because you can always shove random stuff in them and give them to your friends, like rocks. All right, so here's what we're looking at. The brand is called Tarlin, and we should be getting four different items. It looks like we have three telescopes and perhaps one like viewing area. And so this first one, it appears to be the multi-pack. Very cute. Ugh, this tape is amazingly strong. Okay, so we have the top of our telescope here. Interesting. Okay, so we've got an upright viewfinder. And we have binoculars, which is, um, you know, a little odd. I don't know that we'll get this over your head. Maybe it'll go over your head. We'll have to work at that. It's a headband now. It's more of like a pirate hat. Anyway, let's get the bottom open here. I thought that these would look really cute because the school that we're going to convert on our Calico Critter uh, world, the one we're going to convert is, oh, does this actually go up? Oh my god, how cute is that? Look at, look at how cute that, dang it. The stuff they make is so good. All the gachapons, just so good. And we could paint that to look more like a reflective surface. So there's our first telescope. Anyway, I thought it would be fun for his classroom or school that we have selected to remake into an astronomer's place. And we already have, I've already gotten like the stuff for it. I just have to build it. But I thought it would be fun for there to be multiple telescopes available, as one needs telescopes for different reasons. You might have an infrared telescope, you might have an x-ray telescope. I think the Chandra Levy telescope is purely x-ray. It might be radio waves. I'm not sure. Okay, so this one has another rig like we saw before, and it actually clicks to different angles. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's actually clicking and locking into that angle, which is really nice. It still extends, which is great because he's short. He can't, be, you know, I mean, like this is a bit high for him. We're going to have to lower the, the tripod. He's not, he's not the tallest professor that ever was. That's better. Oh my God, sir, please calm down. It's not your fault that you're weighted by a strange tail, but there you go. All right, that fits him better. All right, and then we have these little leggies, which as usual fit together beautifully. And here is our longer telescope. That does not necessarily mean it is um, more powerful. It just necessarily means it has a longer lens but the mirror size is what is actually important in the world of telescopes. I was fortunate enough to grow up in Southern California when it was still dark enough that you could look through a small-ish telescope and uh, see Saturn like once or twice a year when it was on its closest approach. And I remember doing that in my front yard in the middle of Southern California where typically it is not dark enough to see anything. All right, so this looks like our more viewing platform, where you might be, like, sighting along the horizon, perhaps. And we have very cute little rotating viewfinders here. And goes in, as usual, perfect fit. And our last one for today, oh my god, Professor Townsend! <sighs> Goodness, I'm gonna have to get him boots or something. All right, and here is our last telescope of the day. I think this would be great if you like to build uh, like space models or if you have a science um, posable toy doll or if you're just your kids are into science but also they have dolls. You could uh, make these work for Barbie or any other type of ball jointed doll. I think generally they're making these for um, ball jointed doll photography in general. I think that is the main purpose of some of these gachapon. 
All right, we've got our legs in. It's also got the rotating top. Does it click? Yep, also clicks into place so that you can angle it properly. And you could just remove the legs if you want to do. And then this one looks actually a lot more like the one I had as a child where you've got a couple separate viewfinders here. I like that it just says telescope on the side. There's like a zillion telescope brands in Japan, which I find amusing. All right, so Professor Townsend rocking some very cute, very precious <laughs> little telescopes. Look at him. He's such an astute gentleman of science. What a, what a, what a paragon of the world. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this weird micro unboxing. I'm just getting back to filming everything and I have lots of stuff to unbox with you that has just been building up for a couple of weeks because I was busy doing other things. I hope to see you in the next one. I hope I've earned your like or subscribe today and I already said I'll see you in the next one, but I will. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye!